The next Romanian up on beam then will be Ceresela Petrascu. As we mentioned previously, she's very well known for her beautiful lines and flexibility, and we'd hope to see that she can show that off on beam today. She'll no doubt be going for some interesting connections, so keep your eyes peeled to see if she keeps moving as she works through her moves. Here we go with Ceresela Petrascu. And already a very interesting mount onto the beam, slightly different, showing off flexibility and showing some of that pace and aggression that we've come to expect from the Romanians on this piece of apparatus, their forte. Attacks the front somersault, absolutely solid on her landing. Free walk over the flick layout. Again, intended to be connected, but judges have got to decide whether she did keep moving or whether at any point the body stopped completely. And the front somersault from one leg immediately into the back somersault in the tuck position. It's another popular one, change leg half turn today. And the change leg through to side somersault. So although the gymnasts are only officially allowed to count eight difficult moves in their beam routine. Some of them will include more because they're still able to get bonus points for connections even once they've performed their eight elements. So that's why we're still seeing a large number of acrobatics in the beam routines of these top gymnasts. Seems an awful lot of effort sometimes for just a point one or a point two. Yes, Only weak point in routine, the Gainer somersault in the pike position off the end of the beam. Gets her a C dismount, but not quite as challenging as some that we've seen. That was a seriously strong and confident performance. Each landing that she had from all of her acrobatic skills, really stamping her feet down on the beam. Working really quickly as well through the performance. How important is it for the gymnast to show great rhythm and style throughout the routine? Well, the code of points states that that's what should be included in a beam routine. It should have changes of pace, changes of direction, work high and low to the beam. But sometimes it's something that a lot of gymnasts are prone to forget. And that's understandable when you're trying to perform difficult acrobatics. But she absolutely complied with the letter of the law there. She was pacey, she was aggressive, she looked as though she was treating that beam like a main road rather than a 10 centimetre piece of apparatus.